a record. More than 100,000 people read the story on our web channel. It was about a woman from McFarland who canceled her MATC online courses because she accidentally bought an operating system for her new laptop that she knew nothing about. It's called Ubuntu. And consumer reporter Dan Casuto is here tonight with a follow-up. And Dan, the response has just been extraordinary. Yeah, that's really putting it lightly. You know, this story made a lot of people very, very angry. And the phone calls and the emails have just been pouring in all day. I can't even read most of them here on the air because they're abusive, they're hateful, and they attack the young woman from our story. Our story from Tuesday was only trying to help. Extremely frustrated. I'm just, I'm sick of it. And I wanted to get back to school, but I need a computer to be able to do that. This young woman said she canceled her online classes because her laptop came with Ubuntu instead of Windows. That's a Linux operating system. You can see it looks a lot like Windows, but for a relatively low-profile operating system, it's got a passionate fan base. After our story, wow. International tech websites put us on their front pages. Thousands of Ubuntu lovers ranted about us all day. They called it unscrupulous reporting. 27 News is incompetent, a new low for local news. Then there were the personal attacks. Ubuntu users called the young lady a dumb girl lazy, not worthy of a college degree. But they're really mad because it sort of puts it in a bad light and they're really trying to popularize the system. The story's gotten so much play, computer experts are calling us. Adam Wiesenfarth is a technology consultant at the UW. I read a few different national, international tech sites and right up at the top of the list of these is the story about this woman in Madison, Wisconsin. He invited us to campus to show us how Ubuntu works. You got to give it to me that this looks a lot like Windows, a lot like Mac on a, a basic level, it, right? It's very similar. You can do a lot of the same things. Some people love it because it's free and part of what's called open source software. But Ubuntu is also not for everyone. If you're not a computer tinkerer um, and you're not willing to do a little research and digging, it may not be for you. Well, listen to this. As of 5 o'clock tonight, just a few minutes ago, the web version of this story got 125,000 hits. So let me put that in perspective. The main page of WKOWTV.com all day today got about 15,000. We're also getting hundreds of emails and comments, but one of them stands out. It's from the young woman we featured in this story. She says that Linux fans started harassing her on Facebook after they watched the story on our web channel. She said, of course, she never wanted this much publicity. She just wanted her problems to be fixed. And on the positive side, though, we did get some friendly emails, including dozens of offers to help this young woman give her free tech support so she can get more comfortable with Linux and with Ubuntu so she can go back to school. Right, and she originally tried to get Windows after she noticed that she accidentally got Ubuntu instead, but the, exactly. the consultant over the phone said, no, 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 you'll be fine, and so she thought, okay, well, let's, let's just go with it, right? Exactly, and the computer company, Dell, has offered to call her and, and help her work this out. Okay. All right, Dan, thanks. Thanks so much. Well, Dell Computer also contacted us. Dell says it's now in touch with the young woman, as Dan just said, and will help her get everything figured out. By the way, MATC says it will work with her so she can enroll no matter what operating system she uses.